the Dakota Raptor. Okay, this is like a small little Raptor with feathers. So I've seen like lots of different styles of this as well. So I'll kind of do like a mix, maybe. Feathers coming from the head. I've seen ones that don't have feathers coming from the head, but I might add some just because I think they look cool. Landscape page, pencil eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. I'm going to start top left hand corner, and we're going to start with the eye, right? So we we'll go typical sort of lemon shaped eye, right? So you go up and down, like so, and then around there. And then we're going to go for the iris inside, just this kind of two curved lines on the edge. And then a long pupil, right? So like he's looking forward that way. So then we've got this sort of curvature. So we've got like skin and all stuff, lines, texture lines coming around the eye, right? And then we have this sort of bone that all, nearly all the dinosaurs have just here in the front. Okay, and this kind of comes down the back as well. And this sort of frowning area at the top, right? So it's like this sort of brow area across this way this will eventually go back to feathers right so this is like a big frowning head sort of space and this will go back to feathers eventually right so it's back this way and this becomes feathers kind of back here Let's see, we can add some texture to this. All right, front of this now can go just down here. We'll make this sort of scaly, right? So this is the front just here. And then this starts to become feathery back here. So then the top lip comes around this way. That. and then the bottom will start to go down here open mouth real big back around and then at the back of the jaw this becomes a sort of a feathery area right so you'll add sort of feather lines just This sort of texture and it kind of stops maybe here so we've got this edge where there's feathers so feathers kind of overlap one another that's the thing to remember and you don't have to do them all you can just do little bumps like like that and then just texture on the rest like these sort of hatching lines and things Right, so then nostril just up here. And then we got like the top lip, it's got all these wrinkles that come around here. So these will all have right, so these sort of Wrinkle lines sort of on the lip, just to show he's kind of reptilian. And then we got that sort of dip in the bone that Jurassic World normally have. And you can put texture and all stuff on this, and maybe like a scar. Right, 
it roughly. Right, so then teeth, so just a row of like teeth, they kind of look like shark fins, right? So you can do them as big as you want or as small as you want, I'll go sort of a mixture. And then we have that skin flap, of course, that comes down on the mouth. And then teeth coming up from the bottom. And then the tongue just sticking out here. So it's roaring. Kind of see the other skin flap on the other side of the mouth there. And then the tongue goes back into the mouth. You know, some like spit maybe from the tongue right so that's the head right so then we got the feathers that come back from the back of the head right so we just start adding some of these, right? So this goes back this way. And they kind of overlap one another, but we'll just go just back like this. Kind of like the pyroraptor from Jurassic World. And the neck, where's the neck go? So our neck will go on the top of the head, but we'll go with the feathers back here first. And then our neck will go down this way. And more feathers in behind. Okay, so something like that. And then just give them some texture lines just on the side, like just to show that they are feathers that go, you know, that they have sort of feather lines and stuff on them. Okay, so then the neck on the other side, again, will make it sort of, sort of feathery looking, so spiky kind of lines like this. And on the back as well. So, this is the body sort of going that way. And it'll go, it'll keep going. And then down here. Right, so it's kind of like running this way. And we've got a hand here, hand in there, and lots of texture for feathers. So we'll go feather texture line here, maybe. texture on this okay so then the hand and the leg sort of here and then there's another wing this way it's like it's flying nearly right so we've got like a hand that comes out this way and it's got big claws right so it is a raptor so it comes down to a big claw here, right? And then the fingers kind of bump back this way. And then the inside of this one, 
back to my claw and then bump up into there and then this finger bumping around three times and then back up to there Then we can see some feathers hanging down here, right? So So then these are like a couple of feather lines. And maybe like another layer. just in behind going up here. Okay. All right, so we got a leg here. Now it's a big raptor leg, so it's got that big hooked claw, right? So the back of the heel goes back here. Right, so that's the foot starting to come down. We see this big claw just here. Hooks around real big. Okay, and then the toe sort of sticks out, right? So you got like toe bumping around like there. And then the toes that are running on the ground or just sort of raised up maybe a little bit, right? So it comes down there and got a claw on the front and then we go around. And there could be like wrinkles and stuff on the top of the foot here. And then another toe just underneath that one. Three toes really, four including the small one at the back. Right, and of course, there's all sorts of texture and stuff on this foot as well. But the last toe is just here. It's real small. Okay, so then we have to put this wing that's like extended here and a couple of claws on it, right? And a few layers of feathers. So it kind of like comes out from the shoulder and go here, right? So And then these wing feathers just kind of bump around here. And we meet the longer sort of feathers here. And then this goes back up. Around to the shoulder here. Just like just disappears into his feathers here. All right, so this is like a feather area. So you can just add like a layer of feathers. Two of them, I'd say. Two should be enough. I'll go back up here. Maybe another one. Just on top. Of course, these are all feathers.
add as much sort of texture onto the feathers as you want now. You could just do it with color if you wanted. And then some more sort of feather lines coming down the back just here. And we can just see some claws coming out from underneath here, right? So like a big sort of claw here. And around and goes back underneath that way. Because they're part of the wing, his, cl his claws are. And maybe another one here, bumping around and a big spike. sticking out there and then like feathers texture coming down his body so this line just represents sort of a color change so he's like his his feathers on top here are a lot darker than the ones on the bottom and then just darkening up some lines anywhere things overlap, right? That's normally where there should be a shadow. It's normally the best place to add some extra thickness to your line. Right, but I think I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Dakota Raptor. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.